Yeah, I know. Premium content on the channel. Hey Carfathers, welcome back to another unboxing on the channel and today we are gonna open up Premium Collection 2019. A very hyped and anticipated set for a lot of players as it was the first Premium Collection set ever since the reboot and we've got a lot of spicy and juicy stuff for a lot of clans. Not only did all the clans got a new stride and most of the clans got very good stride and I'd say mostly. Uh, but besides that, everybody got a new crit trigger that works like the old uh, G series uh, triggers. And we got new Nation Dragon Strides that have a early game condition and are very, very interesting. Overall, this set is has a very amazing pull rate as the fact that each and every box comes with one of these six dragons. And that's, that's pretty big that we can get at least one in each box. And besides that, we also got some amazing extra foils. On, on every card so it's very easy to gain to gain a play set for a relative cheap uh, cheap standards that we've seen in premium decks and to give a good example of how these different hot stems and non hot stem works is that you've got the original version of the card and then you have the hot stem version where there is gold on the card itself there on the right top border as you can see with this one and it's basically for all the strides that have the same unique pattern on the right top corner and for the triggers, you can see the normal version right here. And then with this, you can see the gold pattern with the crit icon in the middle with all those fancy marks besides it right from left to right on the card itself. So these foils looks pretty amazing. Not that uh, over the top as we used to with SCRs, but they look quite good and they have a nice touch to the cards himself. But enough about the set itself, let's crack and open some packs as there are some interesting things that we're looking for. Personally, I'm looking for the Nation Dragon for Zoo, as I wanted for my Arsha builds. Of course, I need my Katrinas, I need the crit triggers for Neonectar, and of course, I need my history build for Gear Chronicle and the crit triggers for Gear Chronicle. And the extra to top it all off, I also want the Narukami stuff. So if I can get any of these cards, then that would be pretty, pretty great. So as I stated before, we get at least one of the Zero Dragons. And also we got uh, Cray Elementals as box toppers. And in this case, we've got Dismal, so it's pretty awesome. Fun misprint on two of the G-Guardians. They are now apparently uh, referred to as Great Ones, as you can see here in the top corner. But yeah, nothing really uh, dramatic about that. So gonna get this one is pretty nice. So let's see how the first pack is gonna be. So we open up the first one and we start off with the Spike Brothers crit. And we have the Kagero crit foil. So that looks pretty awesome. And we have the one for Murakumo with the hot stem. Every time when I see this card, I think it's an Arakami as it looks look, look a, uh, very similar in, in the color schemes. But overall, this one that oddly has the Victor name in it. So don't know why it's called a Victor, but it's a very interesting stride. It has some good synergies with potential uh, for, the, for the client itself. And I'm very uh, curious if it's gonna matter at all for Nubatama, or uh, for Murukumo. Uh, for next pack, we've got the one for Royal Pen and the crit trigger. Then we got the stride for Spike Brothers. Very, very strong stride, if you ask me. That thing is really amazing. And we've got the foil crit for Aquaphor. So that's also pretty nice if I want to build a Milstrom deck in premium. Then for next pack, we've got the one for Gold Paladin. Then, then we've got the foil crit for Gear Chronicle. Okay, this is what I was looking for. From on the foils, I'm more fan of the crit trigger. So if I get a crit for Gear Chronicle foil, that is pretty, pretty amazing. And then for the other one, we've got, oh, we got the foil, uh, the hot stem version for Morfessa. So that's, that's a good pull. That's a money card right there. So I'm very happy with that one as a hot stand. I'm not playing uh, Shadow Panel in myself, but the fact that I don't play it means I can get some value out of the card themselves. The next pack, we got the one for Oracle Think Tank. Then we've got the one for Great Nature. 
Very interesting. This is one of the uh, one of the few cards that incorporate the new V series mechanic in their own strides. So very interesting that they did that for Great Nature. And then for the foil trigger, we've got the one for Link Joker. Very very uh, interesting art for Link Joker, if you ask me. Then for the next pack, we've got the one for Nubatama, the Shinobi. Really dig this design. Then we've got the foil crit for Banshee. So uh, now the question is what's behind this one? And that is, yes! Yes, we got the hot stem version for Gear Chronicle. This is what I actually, this is what I want to see. This is a pretty good pack if you ask me. <laughs> nice. So I, I think we only have one more hot stem for this box and that's about it. Next up, we've got the one for Bruna Triangle, the trigger. Then we've got the hot stem for Shadow Paladin. And follow up with the hot stem for Dementia Police. So that's really awesome as well, my uh, a good friend of mine and also editor uh, or basically to say animator for projects that he's working on for the channel. You guys are going to love his work when, when he's done. But he is a big Dimensional Police fan, so this card is definitely going to, uh, to him. So if you're watching, Mel... I think you're very happy with the fact that I just pulled that one. <laughs> then next up, we've got the crit trigger for Narukami. Very happy with that one. I really need it for my Narukami builds. Then we've got the stride for Genesis. I'm still not sure about this stride, how it actually works and if it's a good card or not. But Genesis players, please help me try to understand this card. Because I'm just not seeing this thing actually being really good, or uh, if, if at all. And then finally, we've got the Mega Colony crit foil very interesting art if you ask me never actually looked at this one close up but very interesting art then next we've got the one for pill moon always pretty good pill moon girls oh nice we've got values for aqua force this is a very interesting stride that has a lot of potential oh we got some good things this we've got the str for dark zone so we've Managed to pull the hot stem for Gear Chronicle as well as the Nation Dragon for him in SDR version. And this looks pretty awesome with the double border and the whole kanji on the card. This, this is actually pretty neat. Yeah, I'm really happy with this one. It's probably not the one of the strongest out of there, but still... The fact that it's an SCR, yes, baby. <laughs> I chose the correct box, apparently. Really happy with that one. But we still got two packs to go, so I think that's about everything for this set. All right, we got another Gear Chronicle crit, so that's always good. Oh, we've got the one for Tachikase this stride. This card, this stride is insanely strong, if you ask me. This is the old Dogma on steroids, and oh boy, I think this one is gonna make some splashes in premium. So watch out for this card. Then, and the last for this pack, we got the hot stem for Narukami. Again, a hot stem card for the clans that I'm looking for. So, we're hitting the correct cards for me. So, money cards if you ask me. Then, for the last pack, we've got the one for Grand Blue, the Benji. Then, we've got the stride for Kagero. Very interesting, Dungeon Feller. Very, very happy that he's finally in his stride form. And it's not a too shabby stride if you ask me. And then the last card for this pack, we've got the hot stem version of Royal Paladin. Very, very nice card. Then we're gonna jump right into the second box and we're probably gonna speed it a little bit up so this unboxing won't take as long as it is. Luckily, there are only 10 packs in the set and three cards. Hey, I think I'm hitting the correct cards. First I get the Dismal and now I get the Bobo. So if the third one has something like Hunley, then I am all set <laughs> for premium. Right, so second pack, uh, second box, first pack. We start off with Neo Nectar Happy Lucky. Again, one that I need. Then we've got another history build. This is very good. Now I have two. I need basically two more. And we finish. Oh, what the hell is going on? Another SGR. But this time it's for uh, for Megalonica. It's t it's uh, Blenerina. Jesus Christ. What the hell is going on? Why do I have two SGRs in two boxes? This is insane. Holy crap. <laughs> All right. Calm down. Calm down. 
we still got packs to open <laughs> for this box. Calm, uh, calm the frick down. All right. Next, uh, next pack, we've got the one for uh, um, Nova Grappler the trigger. Then we've got the one for Mega Connolly. Very strong stride, if you ask me. This one has a lot of potential and it can shut down a lot of decks. Basically, my timely build cries in a corner against that deck as it literally becomes a vanilla deck. And we have the hot stem version for Oracle Think Tank. Uh, so far so good as we probably haven't pulled doubles of the hot stems then for next pack we have the one for dark regulars we've got the hot stem for murukumo and we have the hot stem version for valio so very very nice really like that art and one of the few arts that can can work with the hot stem stride on it then next pack we've got the normal version for the aquaforce crit then we've got the Bermuda hot stem crit, and we have the hot stem for Genesis. Not so much happy about that one personally, but as I stated, I'm not really a fan of the card, but a hot stem nonetheless. Then we've got the one for Shadow Penelin, the hot stem version for Neo Nectar, very good with that one, and we've got the hot stem version for Bermuda Triangle. This is, I think, the worst card that you can pull out of this entire set. So, yeah. Great, <laughs> but I cannot complain by the fact that I have two of these, Jesus Christ. Then we've got the one for Mega Gondi, the trigger. We've got the stride for Gold Paladin, that is a very good stride in premium as it works with the whole Ezel build. And then we've got the hot stem for, ben uh, for Grand Blue. I think this is now uh, at least one that I pulled double. Then for the next pack, we've got the Genesis crit. We've got Bustard, that's a really good card, but I don't need any more copies, I already have two normals and one hot stamp, but I can trade it away. And then we have the hot stamp trigger for Kagero, so very nice card for that. Then next up, for the next pack, we have the Angel Feather crit, then we have the Angel Feather hot stamp crit, alright, so two in a row, very interesting for that one. And then we've got the hot stem version of Ichiki Shima, and that is a really good one. That's also a big major player for premium right now. That deck is insane. Then for the uh, second to last pack, we've got the trigger for Great Nature. Then we've got uh, Raf Raphael Mitra for Angel Feathers. Not really fond of that card as well. And then we've got a second hot stem for Gear Chronicle. All right, we're doing pretty good. These are the cards that I want to see. Damn, we're, these are some bar these are golden boxes for me. Holy crap! Never been that lucky before. If I, if I'm yeah. Um, all right, last pack of the second box. We've got the one for Link Joker. Then we've got the Dark Regular Stride, still a very interesting stride that can enable a lot of intricate plays and combos, but I think people are still guessing and figuring out how to build the correct deck as it hasn't really done that much in J Japan, but now that it's finally here in the West, maybe we can figure out how this card can make some waves. And then we finish this box off with the Hot Stand for Spike Brothers. One of the few arts for the crit triggers that I'm very, very questionable about. I think Spike Brothers could have got gotten way more than that, but still, nonetheless, a nice hot stand. Then for the last box stopper, we've got we've got another great one, G Guardian. We get Skru or Screw or how the hell you want to pronounce that. So let's see if I get some nice pulls out of this pair box as well. I'm question. I'm not. I'm not expecting another SGRs. That would be a little bit too ridiculous. All right, we start off pretty good. We've got another crit trigger for Gear Chronicles. I think I now finally have a playset, so that's pretty good. Finally, we've got the stride for Neo Nectar, Katrina. This is one that I really need. So very happy with that one. And we also got the hot stand for Nova Grappler crit trigger. So overall, these are some really good pulls. Cannot complain whatsoever. Then next up, we've got the Bermuda Triangle crit. Then we've got another one for Gear uh, Gold Paladin. And now we have the normal version for the Dark Zone. So we basically, you can now see the difference between the two as we have a normal and we've got a STR version. It's very, very nice. So probably either the normal version is gonna be traded away depending on who wants what. 
All right, so next pack. We've got the crit trigger for a gold paladin. Then we've got a normal version for Dimension Police, so also pretty good. And then we have the hot stem for Tachikaze, the crit trigger. Also pretty nice. Then next we've got the Grand Blue crit trigger. Then we've got the hot stem for Dark Regulars. And then we've got the hot stem stride for Link Joker, Global Avalanche. A very interesting stride with a very interesting mechanic for Premium Link Joker as they aren't really about binding and more about keeping fields locked, but it's still an interesting mechanic to, the, to play around for Link Joker. Now we also got the Hot Stem Dimension Police trigger, so again Melvin if you're watching. And then we've got the Hot Stem version for Great Nature. So that's pretty pretty good. Currently, I haven't pulled any doubles for the Hotstem Stride, so that's also very interesting. Uh, then next up, we've got the Oracle Think Tank crit. Then we've got the Nubatama Hotstem crit. And we've got the Pill Moon Hotstem. So that's also an insanely good card for Pill Moon, as it just extends every play that they already have with an extra Vanguard attack and an extra Rearguard attack. It's just insane, that card. Next up, we've got the Murakumo. Then we've got the normal Murakumo Stride, and we've got the Pill Moon Hot Stem Trigger. I believe I still have one more Hot Stem left for the Strides. We've got the normal Dimension Police Trigger. Then we've got the basically the Stride that started this whole mess, <laughs> if you can say it. The Royal Paladin Stride, say a Sade of Twin Sword. This card is pretty insane for the Blaster Engine. And we finish this one up with the Hot Stem Great nature trigger pretty pretty nice then next up we've got the Numatama trigger then we've got the hot stem for royal paladin and behind it it's the hot stem for narukami so yes i at least get one of the narukami here i cannot finally show you why these cards get mixed up by a lot of people as you can see their color scheme and the way that the card is designed is really similar. It, it You can easily mi uh, mishap the one for the other if you're just looking at it very fast. So happy that's in hot stand. Yes, the card might not be really that great in contest, uh, contrast to the rest, but it's still a strong stride nonetheless. So if I can use it in a game, it will matter. Then next up, we've got the crit trigger for Paulina, and this is the last pack. So another Narukami crit, very happy with that. Then the last stride is Mujin Lord De Goku for Nubatama. And we finish it off with a hot stand for Genesis. So overall, pretty, pretty nice. So as you can see here, all the hot stand strides as well as the GR and SCRs that I pulled. It has been a very good unboxing for me personally with all the different hot stands that I got. Very happy that I get at least two of the three strides hot stand as well as two STRs. That was insane. And also some very, very hyped cards with Ichikishima and Morfessa. The fact that I got the hot stand. Very happy with that one. As well with all the hot stand crits. The fact that I got two Gear Chronicle crits and one for, um, Nubata uh, one for Narukami and... Uh, Neo Nectar is also very happy the fact that I got those as well and I currently have enough for most of my builds and the rest I can just trade away with everything else and I think Melvin is also going to be very happy <laughs> with with uh, this Di Dimax and also with this hot stamped moth alien thing for Dimension Police. It's a very odd design but a awesome design nonetheless. So yeah, that's basically been the unboxing for Premium Collection. It's been a wild ride, if you ask me. I, haven't, I wasn't expecting this, to be honest. But overall, these boxes are amazing. There are a lot of value in these. And besides that, all the cards have some amazing playability for Premium. And even if you haven't really a, a complete Premium deck or just standard, just playing these cards in most decks in are going to be some insane synergy as they just work on their own. So, yeah, have at it, open your boxes, have fun, play some premium, and expect more premium content on the channel, but mainly expect some with this guy. But that's basically about everything for me today. As always, guys, I'm Mr. Time Leap, and I'll see you guys in the next one.